first step of this problem is to figure out what the variables are. And the hint is in the sentence, how many of each should be made. So it's asking how many models of each should be made. And these are the models here, luxury and the standard. So let me just call L for luxury and S for standard. Here are two variables. And then first thing, I'm going to write out the objective function. You can really leave that for last. I just like to do it first. The objective, we're trying to maximize profit. So the objective is to maximize. And profit is a function. Well, if L is the number of luxury you're going to sell and S is going to be the number of standard you're going to sell, you're going to make $40 times L plus $30 times S. So here's the function we're trying to maximize. Next, we can find out the formulas. Formulate. And again, this is a resource problem. We are going to give each resource its own equation. We're going to have a plastic equation and a labor equation. We'll put L and S on top. L require 10 pound plastic and 10 minutes of labor. And S requires 16 pound plastic and eight minutes of labor. Here's L, here's S, and that's gonna equal to what we have on hand. Well. Here we're trying to maximize, so here's actually going to be less than or equal to. So these two equations are what we call constraints. And these constraints are basically saying that you cannot use more than what you have on hand. Because that's not possible. You can, you can use 7,000 7, pounds of plastic when you only have 6,000. So this is plastic, and we have 6,000 on hand. And again, you have to be careful with the units. This is in pounds. To convert pounds into, oh, the way this is in pounds, so it's, it's already in pounds. You don't have to change anything. And the hours you do, you have 60 hours, and you have to convert the hours into minutes, which you take 60 times number of hours to get the minutes. That's going to come to three. 3600. And these are called the explicit constraints. There are implicit constraints, which are S is greater than or equal to zero and L is greater than or equal to zero. That just means that you can't make a negative number of anything. So here you have a profit function that you're trying to maximize. And then here are the four constraints that you have to follow. The next step is the graphing formula and finding the corner points. Please watch the next video for that.